The reason why they don't respect Christianity again in our territory is because we have too many powerless people. The people that carry small, they are too few. When everybody can carry this thing. There are some men of God that if they travel to a territory, all the churches will experience revival. Imagine if we host a crusade here now and, and we bring God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. What kind of grace did Riyad Bonki carry? One week to the crusade, native doctors are coming out from the bush. All the people that they tied, all the families that they tied, they are carrying it. Some of the things he wrote in his book, it took nearly a hundred years for the body of Christ to accept as revelation. We were too far behind. He was the one who brought the perspective of the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. But as far as the prophetic is concerned in this Nigeria, I will always respect Apostle Johnson Suleiman. You think if it is fake all these years? No. There are other prophets who, but this one. Look at Nigeria in the AFCON, African Cup of Nations. It was obvious that we will win it. Somebody came in his service and said, Nigeria will win. No. Everybody that saw Nigeria will win, they saw correctly. But I told God to change it. Can an eagle carry an elephant? That's what he told God. As a man in Christ Jesus, because the breath of God is in you by the Holy Spirit, you can live naturally revived. The reason why many people's prayer life is going up and down is because they are living with a revelation that belongs to the Old Testament. They believe that there is a point where they can get to and they faint. Meanwhile, the Bible says that God gives power to the faint. How does, how does he give power to the faint? He puts his spirit into a man. But in the New Testament, you don't need, you are not like the Old Testament that the, the spirit of God will come to revive you. You now carry that spirit in you. So you can live always on fire for God. On your weakest days, you are the strongest. What did Paul say? Therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ will rest upon me. He said, for when I am weak, then I am strong. I wish somebody got this, this revelation. You live revived. You live charged. There is life bursting forth from you. Your antennas are sharp 247. Gone are those days where you will be hot for two months and then later you just go down. No. Your body can be weak, but your spirit that is recreated in Christ Jesus, carrying the breath of God in it, can never be weak. And so strength will no longer need to come from heaven upon you. Strength now comes from within you. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh where? Above you? No. Within you. To a point where you now become a source of life to people. There are some men of God that if they travel to a territory, all the churches will experience revival. Imagine if we host a crusade here now and we bring God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. You must get there. Oh. You must know God to that level. Those kind of men, whether they pray or not, just carry them and land in a territory. They just stand and say, all oh, the spirits in this territory, you know my voice. Clear. <laughs> what kind of grace did Riyad Bonki carry? One week to the crusade, native doctors are coming out from the bush. All the people that they tied, all the families that they tied, they are carrying it. It is Christ who both died and rose again and revived past tense. You no longer need to live without the fire of God. You now carry the fire of God in you. You are now a walking manifestation of the power and the grace of God. It is you that God will use to electrocute other people into spiritual power. It is your presence that God will use to, to transport men into higher dimensions. There is an energy of God living inside of you. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That might is inside of you. There was a man called E.W. Kenyon. Powerful man of God. One of the people who brought the, the perspective of the new creation realities to the body of Christ. It was said that in his church, nobody remained sick. Nobody died till he died. If you die, he will wake you up. If somebody breaks a bone in their body, in the service there, he will go and speak to the bone and the bone will become straight. Go and browse about him. He, he held up E.W. E Kenyon. In fact, some of the things he wrote in his book, it took nearly a hundred years for the body of Christ to accept as revelation. We were too far behind. We thought that he was the one who brought the perspective of the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 
the positional advantage of the believer keep his picture there it was this man you need to browse about this kind of people you need to go and research about their work and enlighten yourself for years they, he was called a heretic because the revelation he, he brought was too far ahead of his generation there are men like that in our days some of them in the prophetic they are taking it to another dimension I don't care whatever any blogger says but as far as the prophetic is concerned in this Nigeria I will always respect Apostle Johnson Suleiman you think if it is fake all these years no no there are other prophets who, but this one another man that I respect so much you see I don't care about I don't all of this scandal all this is not my business though. follow people for years another man that I salute is you but angel listen I'm not his follower but I respect that man you have to just believe it even if the people around him are fake even if they are say let them say all they want at least I followed this man's ministry for over 10 years it's impossible to fake what he's doing it's impossible look at Nigeria in the AFCON African Cup of Nations it was obvious that we will win it somebody came in his service and said Nigeria will win no everybody that saw Nigeria will win they saw correctly but I told God to change it and he, saw, he, told, he told God he said can an eagle carry an elephant that's what he told God and God said okay I've changed it and then all of a sudden many people who prophesied it looked as if they lied they didn't lie Nigeria was meant to win it see the person that changed it and if you know this man listen you know why I'm saying this today we are in the body of Christ now we just castigate and slander people let's talk about their good side yes, eh, he was involved in this scandal in this country forget about it you you if God called you and your life was filled with scandal how would you feel if people don't want to listen to you simply because of a mistake how would you feel this guy has been prophesying on football matches for years so over time because he has been faithful in it he that is faithful in little is faithful in much god has now increased his authority that now no longer only prophesy on it but i give you the permission to change it argentina was playing finals with which country france and god spoke to him i said i give you the liberty to bring your date of birth and his date of birth was 1970 something that was the year that argentina won and while the match was going on somebody We have to press into God to carry that kind of power. In fact, you know what? I just preached the fifth point. Power and authority. We need to contend for that kind of power. The reason why they don't respect Christianity again in our territory is because we have too many powerless people. The people that carry small, they are too few. When everybody can carry this thing. I and the children that the Lord has given to me are for signs and wonders. You that is there at the end of the overflow listening to me. You are here because God wants to infuse in you his breath so that you can become a walking expression of the technology of heaven. How did Jesus turn water to wine? All those disciples that follow Jesus, you think they you what do you what do you think will what do you think is operating in a man that will abandon everything and follow Jesus? If not that they have seen something supernatural. Not only revival, power and authority. Micah 3 8 says, I am full of power as by the Spirit of God. When the breath of God is upon you, you carry power. Are you ready to pray this night? Let me tell you this before we pray. Thank God for all the testimonies you hear here. You heard the testimonies today and you hear it every week. But I'm not stopping there. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I will press into God until I become a mobile expression of power. That breath, when it comes upon you, it, it superimposes on your background, it superimposes on your weakness, it superimposes on any disadvantage you have. 
it translates you all of a sudden it gives you re results that will force your critics to believe you at a point when the miracles of jesus became too much the pharisees could not hold it even the, there was a time they sent soldiers to go and arrest jesus the soldiers went there and they were held spellbound they were charmed by jesus's ministry they came back without jesus the pharisees say where jesus now they say we have never heard any man speak like that they say even you too you have been charmed there was a time even the pharisees could not help they could not deny that this one was a man of god nicodemus said no man can do these things except god be with you the only thing they were envious of was that he had gathered crowd and it is true when the breath of god is upon you your life will produce results that will attract enemies but don't be afraid for he prepares a table before you in the presence of enemies